The Evolve Hull Eating Disorder Service opened its new centre in Hull today. Emmerdale star and former anorexia sufferer Gemma Oten was there to cut the ribbon. Well, um, my mum and dad, Mike and Dennis Oten, run SEED, which is the voluntary sector that are involved uh, with Evolve today. Um, and SEED uh, was sort of born really out of our past troubles um, with my eating disorder when I was about 10, 11. And um, I never had any help in Hull back then uh, because there was no help in Hull back then. And, and I think the reason I'm here today is because this is just such a fantastic thing for the city, for my parents, for carers, sufferers out there, for Evolve. Um, and, you know, it's quite nice to be asked to, to cut the ribbon because I'm in a position where I'm playing uh, Rachel and Emmerdale now, and that's in itself is a story of hope because. When I was younger, I didn't think I'd had a future, and now here I am doing something positive. How does places like Evolve compare to what you had for support when, when you were suffering? Oh, God. I could write a book on the places that I had for support because it was that horrendous at times. You know, thinking um, back when I was about 11, 12, being put into adolescent psychiatric units, that's, that's not a place for a, a young person to be when they've got an eating disorder and it, it's, it needs to be very specifically treated. Um, so I mean it's just come on leaps and bounds. I had to go to Leeds, I had to go to Sheffield, I think I went to London once to try and get the help that I needed and, and I just think what's so important is that it, it's such a trauma for families and friends of sufferers as it is. To have to lose that loved one to, to somewhere where they can't get to them accessible within half an hour. It, it, it's just so destroying and it's so much more heartbreaking. Whereas here, there's something on Beverly Road in town. Um, you know, it, it's hopefully about 15 minutes between anywhere, sort of centre of Hull. Um, and I just think it'll be a massive, massive, make a massive difference to, to the recovery rate and to the support that people get. I think we're quite lucky here in Hull because this is quite a unique centre so for mm. Hull to be one of the first it's quite a thing to boast for the city. It's, I mean, I've just been uh, given a tour and, and my mum's been telling me how it's all coming on and the colour scheme and she's been like putting bits and bobs up everywhere but I didn't really envisage it was on this scale. I think this is, I'm just a bit lost for words really, I think we're we're very lucky and hopefully this will be the first of many. Do you think this means that in future young girls like you won't have that experience that you had? They'll be a lot luckier in their recovery? I really, that would be what my big hope would be and, and unfortunately now it's not just young girls, it's young boys um, and, then, and then the other one that I find heartbreaking is when you meet women who are 50, 60 and are still struggling because 30 years ago there was no service at all so I'm, I'm hoping that um, this can stop that happening because pe people have a misconception about eating disorders saying it's about appearance and it's about wanting to look like somebody who's on telly or in a magazine and it's not. It, it's a heartbreaking, um, often devastating illness that can take people's lives and it's a lot more deep rooted and I think now Hull's got the resources and the knowledge, I think that's going to hopefully save many lives. Our journey goes back um, to when our daughter suffered from an eating disorder and there was just no services whatsoever and it was a very, very difficult time. Um, neither of us had a computer, neither of us could turn on a computer and we really didn't know what Google meant. So um, I'm pleased to say that Gemma's come a long, long way, so, so proud of her and she's now living a life and she's following her dreams which is amazing. Um, going back to when I first sort of came in touch with Nikkei, because we started SEED, which was then the Eating Disorder Support Group Hull in East Yorkshire, um, we changed our name in 2008 to SEED, which is Support and Empathy for People with Eating Disorders. And it was always our vision, our vision to have a house. And, it, and, and Nikki and I sang from the same song sheet. We'd sit for many an hour saying what it would look like, like, again, if it was gold standard, bronze or silver. And I think we've got platinum. I think it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Get on. <laughs> I'm messed up now. Um, 
I thought I wouldn't do this, but I have. <laughs> so what we want now is we want to move forward, we want to work together, we want to deliver a service for other people to come in and be so proud of this building and 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 also for this to be their stairway to recovery because the first step on this stairway is their their stairway to another life really. Um, and I'd just like to wish Evolve on behalf of Seed all the luck in the world and hope that they can um, inspire change and and help people in the future. Thank you. The reason my mum um, got so emotional then is because this isn't just about Evolve and Seed. This is about a journey that started, unfortunately, um, about 15, 16 years ago. Um, where I developed anorexia and our whole world was torn apart um, and we went to hell and back and my mum is a very very determined woman <laughs> and my dad is too and when they come together they're a bit of a powerhouse and the whole idea of seed evolved, evolved <laughs> with evolve um, which is just a, a complete privilege to be here today not only as their daughter but as somebody who has recovered um, and not just recovered a little bit, I might just say, I think I've recovered a hell of a lot. I've got my life back and I went for my goal and now I play a tracky wearing travel on every day. And it's fantastic. <laughs> um, my point being is that, you know, never give up on a personal experience. Um, and also just a big thank you um, to Evolve um, and, and to sort of the whole um, NHS. Everybody to sort of finally realise that in the public sector this needs to happen and it is happening and it's just a privilege to say that my mum and dad are a little bit a part of that in, in the voluntary sector as well. So um, well done to you all, you're absolutely inspiring and amazing people and um, it's with great pleasure that I announce the Evolve Eating Disorder Daycare Service. <laughs> That's right. Open. This is Emma Wright reporting for the Hall Daily Mail in Beverly Road.